going to do a quick one. Goes. Hmm. I don't have a long time. I gotta go. I gotta go somewhere. It's like salty. Very light. It's very good. It tastes a lot like dogfish head sea quench. I don't know if anybody's seen my uh, latest uh, upload. I did. I, I did a couple of uh, a couple like shorts on. Uh, this is the first one I did. I filmed all these little short videos, right? With most of my mods, my high end mods. I don't know what to do with them. Like, so I'm like editing them, and I'm like trying to figure out how long to make them and stuff, and then I'm like, you know what, fuck it, like, I may as well make it interesting, and, uh, I put, like, um, the little narrative voice over it, like, like, if it was, you know, like, the coming attraction for, like, a movie or something, I don't know, just to spice it up, and then I did the Moab one, so, I got a bunch more film, but, they don't really seem like they get much uh, uh, attraction or attention, so I don't know if they're worth doing. I, I thought maybe it, it, the algorithm thing is so wacky, right? If you upload a short, if you make a short on your phone, it more often than not you can end up having like a pretty big turnout, like in terms of views, like. YouTube will, will share that, even though it's technically a, a vape video, which they don't like to circulate. That's why, I mean, you'll notice some people have the stupidest channels. Like, some somebody can make a, a an entire channel about dirt. Like, this is a different kind of dirt. This is the West African dirt, and uh, this is the uh, the New England dirt. And, uh, you don't want to mix your dirt. I mean, there will be people with channels like that. And with, like, you know, 200,000 subscribers. And it blows my mind. And vaping, for whatever reason, doesn't have a big turnout. Um, you know, for Rip Trippers basically being the only person to ever hit a million subs and like indoor smoker if he even counts i mean i don't know so anyhow the shorts i don't know if they're gonna work out very well i'm not like i'm not a big hashtag person and i wanted to make them like proper videos at the same time like use a good camera edit them but to do that, I'm not filming it with my phone, and it's not going direct to upload. So, that doesn't compute with their algorithm. Maybe because I'm making them too long. Like, the shorts can be anywhere. I think it's anything like a minute and under. But I think a lot of shorts are only like 15 seconds to 30 seconds. So, I don't know if that's something to do with it or what. But, and whether it's a 4K upload or a 1080p, I know if I don't upload it in a, a vertical fashion, it won't be recognized as a short, even if it is uh, a minute and less. So, it's so many, like, little technicalities to this shit, so I don't know. I just thought it would reach a... a a broader audience that way. Since it's so short, you don't have to be totally invested in vaping to see it. You know what I mean? And that way you could just pull in more people in the high end or anything. You know? Uh, the, um, the pods, I mean, they're just not that compelling. It's just a, a means to an end. You know what I mean? It's just a cigarette, basically. It's not 
people aren't going to invest in it the way they would a, a setup. You know what I mean? So that's that's the trick. How do we get people more interested into actual gear setups for the gear itself, not just the end result of vaping it? So that is the big problem. I mean, because otherwise, you have a very small niche of people on Facebook that already are into high end and have the money for it. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have people with pods and disposables. What good is that? I mean, there's no middle ground for people. It's just like, in a broader sense, it's like the you know the class system, like the middle class is disappearing. It's like that basically, but with the vape industry. So. I don't know what to do about that. I have a couple of other regular videos um, to edit still. I just fucking hate editing. just hate it. No matter what, I just can't seem to get into it. If it's like a good creative project, I can get into it. But I just have a serious procrastination when it comes to editing the vape uh, videos. I just, just can't seem to get over it. Um, <laughs> So I have a couple of those, and uh, I did a, actually, I actually did a video. Um, I don't know if I should upload it to this channel or like the little sub channel I made, but got these in. I don't know if you can get the color. It's olive. It's like a green olive waxed by White Spoots, American made, hand sewn, hand lasted. It's a, a Vibram. 430 mini lug sole, uh, block logger heel, single stitched, uh, horny natural chromic sew. Uh, both leathers are made uh, by Horween in Chicago. The boots themselves are made in Spokane, Washington. It's a six inch boot, brass eyelets, unstructured toe. Yeah, I could nerd out on this stuff, but a uh, lineman patch here. So people have no idea what that is. That's actually the boot is a lineman boot for people that um, work on telephone poles. Their the inner part of their feet when they rub against the the pole or the structure and tear their boots. So that's why they came up with these patches. It actually is a a real life practicality um these are more like fashionable ones but there are real ones with the patches i thought that was kind of neat and um yeah i mean the boot design itself has been around since the 30s so it's it's a, it's an old design technically oh my god i remember being in in uh, doing a brief stint in jail and there was a person there uh, who had come from upstate jail like real prison and was being like their you know the process of them getting I don't know they got sent back to county level lower custody and stuff security clearance or whatever and upstate they make their own boots up there. They actually make their own boots and they're like really nice like that. And that's what that reminded me of when I got it. I'm like, wow, this is like a state boot. It's just bizarre that I even know what that is. Like, uh, I don't know if that's like all over the country or if like that was just a Pennsylvania thing. But yeah, like they make their own boots and uh, they're only available amongst the... Um, the prisoners or whatever but they're like really nicely made i mean it's impressive and they take a lot of pride in them and stuff too um i bet that will get phased out if it hasn't already be, begun to be phased out because i imagine it's a very expensive thing i'm surprised they even allowed for that i mean but years ago they used to provide cigarettes to inmates in prison so you know it's it's come a, it's come away. 
for the Warriors. You know, at least those kind of people, I mean, most of them probably don't deserve it, but at least they had some perks of, you know, still being a person, I guess. Um, so I'm just rambling about anything but vaping. Um, there's a couple things I could show you guys real quick. Uh, here's a message from Charles. Charles Rowe for BMM. Who puts friggin' salt on watermelon? Who does that? And, and Bill Fanning saying he's put some cantaloupe. I, I've heard of putting salt like with with lime or lemon, like if you're drinking shots of liquor or something. Not like just outright. Um, what could we look at here? I definitely took some photos and stuff. Here's some really nice um, rezzo. This rezzo changes colors. So it's kind of like tan and white now in this photo. But in the sun, it gets like dark and like purple. Cool, right? Here's the new sturdy RBA. It's tiny. That's the wicking port. So it's a big wicking port. It's a good looking wicking port. Like a it looks like a an Enigma RTA wicking port. Or like a mob mini. Here's the deck. It's super tiny. I mean here it is and, and it's and you can use it in a dot, because it's made by dot. Dirty uh, sturdy and dot, they're like you know, and, one of the same kind of thing. Sturdy was primarily just like accessories and stuff, and like, yeah. But um, you can put it in a dot RBA and in a um, in a boro. So here it is in a dot. So it looks kind of big in there, but I mean, here it is in in a in a reso. It's still can't tell that well. Certain tanks you can see it. It's more obvious. Here's an original Delro mod. It was um, a billet box Rev 3, but with like the other side looks like a Delro D60, like the way the screen is on the side. And like you can see like the JG logo on it and stuff. So here's like the one side. See the JG logo, and that looks like a Rev three billet. I didn't even know these existed. Um, I know what the Rev three billet is, but I didn't know there was like a JG Delro early Delro thing. See the old billet box panels slid down. They didn't pop off. They slid down. They were on like tracks, and you could see the screen. On it looks like how like a Delro would look. It's pretty cool. Here's another El Cigar um, creation. He, his mods are so nice. This is a side by side. I'm sure it glows in the dark. And he does some great designs. Here it is again. I showed one of these not too long ago. Did you know there was a Rubik? Remember the Rubik RBA? It was like a MTL kind. I like don't remember this coming out. They made a RTA. And it's also really tight. It actually looks more like a RDTA style, like a Cabello type deal. It's pretty neat. Here's the different pins, and it also has different um, top cat, or what should I call it, chimneys or whatever. Those airflow pins look cool, like the three hold one might be nice. I like airflow that's like divided up like that, you know. Here's the deck. 
I got a product on the way. Um, it's a uh, it's a mod, and uh, it should be interesting to do a video on. I thought this was really cool. This is the new limelight uh, side by side. Now it's modular, mind you. So here it is stripped down. Looks very plain. Kind of looks like that mod that Mark Todd had. You can like squeeze together. Kind of looks like that. Um, but like here it is with like more like the body on top. So that's kind of cool. So you could put like sleeves on it, kind of. But you could like minimize the sleeves too. Like look at this. Same thing, but. It's not like the whole body, it's just part of it. It's pretty cool. And I guess you could put different height tubes on it for uh, 21s and 18650s. Um, there's something you might see soon. I had to leave soon. Like real soon. Time goes by so fast. Constantly fighting time. Here's the the Ultima RBA. I thought I showed more of this before, but I don't think I have. This isn't gonna do, do it justice, but here's the deck. This is like a JG Delro Corey Tomlinson. Um type design. I think he designed it and it's going to be through Delro. The Ultima. Which Ultima is already an RTA name from 415 but that's the deck and all to render but nothing like too different looking but oh that's neat. I uh, thought I had more photos. Which I definitely would like to show right away because I have to go. Uh, See, so yeah, I mean, I guess I won't be doing the shorts. Like, I'm, I'll probably finish what I have, but I don't think it's going to be something I'll keep doing because the the whole algorithm thing. It just ends up being frustrating. I mean, they're easy to make. You know what I mean, but easier to make I'll say because they're short you know this looked so cool I mean I don't know if I showed this last time it's just it's a Hussar lore but it's like all clear and it's like a clear one but with like I don't know R, I guess they're RJ panels they just look so neat and then there's that that Boro is by that company I forget the name yeah, yeah, RJ. So those are RJ panels, but the Boro itself is from somebody else. I don't know. So, you know, I just like to show off things that catch my eye. I have to go to work. So I'm going to be in a warehouse looking at beer tonight. Um, well, shoot. I wanted to show you is... I thought I had other uh, photos to show you. Sometimes I screenshot them, and then other times I just like save the file, um, which I shouldn't do. I should just pick pick a lane and stick to it. Um. I guess I got a good gallery. This is uh, becoming a downloads. No, it's not downloads. Did we ever talk about this thing? This weird looking mod? It's like a inverted bootlegger. 
I don't know if we ever talked about that. I think we did. Did I ever show you guys this? The, the, the guy that made a mod out of a, a gun magazine or whatever? Pretty cool. It's kind of big, but it's it's really neat. Like, say, this is it in his, his hand. I mean, he carved a border cavity out of it and everything, put a screen in there, and used a bullet as a fire fire button. I thought that was so cool. Jeez, look at this mod. Ain't that fucking pretty? Holy shit. There's some nice box mods out there, some nice regulated mods. There's a little, little shit that looks nice. I mean, I, I just never got my hands on all those cool box mods out there. Here's another little shit. And teal. That's uh, Sam Sam's. Here's a straight on I thought it was neat. Wait, it's like two distinct tubes. I don't know, maybe I did show that before. It's hard to say. Oh, this was the original picture that I got for when I bought my bow rat. It came with a clear tip. Ugh, R.I.P. R.I.P. Uh, Billy Club and my old bow rack. All right. I guess to go, guess to go. 20, that's well, a short one, but I wanted to do it real live. I just knew I wouldn't have any time to, you know, it would have been a, would have been a, a tease of a live, you know, as soon as people got in, I'd have to leave. So just a little update, you know, what I've been doing and, uh, this this the shorts thing I just feel like it ain't gonna go nowhere. It, it's just too hit or miss. I never know what to expect. So it, I want to. I'd rather give quality over quantity, and and it's just not gonna work for my for what I'm gonna do. But I just thought it would have been a good way to draw in people that are outside of the scene. You know what I mean. Um, I just don't know all the algorithm tricks, and I just don't have the patience for it, you know. Um, I'm sure there is a good method to, to do it, but forget about it. Forget about it. All right, gang, I will see you next time. Um, like I said, i got a couple things already filmed uh, that are in processing. So y'all have a good evening, and I'll see you later.